Good morning. Thank you for joining us in this Sabbath School Today session. Lesson number eight is Fulfilling Old Testament Prophecies, all themes from the Gospel of John. Lord, fulfilled prophecy de definitely testifies to the authenticity of Scripture. We thank you that Jesus is our Messiah. In his name, amen. The Jews in Christ's day expected their Messiah to come with a thunderclap and an earthquake, for many Old Testament prophecies seem to say so. They were not prepared that he came gently, a little baby born in Bethlehem, a questioning youth in the temple when he was 12, a modest healing ministry in the Galilee Lake region, a message of good news, beatitudes, blessings. Many Jewish leaders were so shocked they never recovered their spiritual balance until they rejected and crucified him. On the day when Christ was resurrected, two of his disciples, not of the twelve, were walking along a pathway that leads from Jerusalem to the little village of Emmaus. A stranger joined them. And in a pleasant, friendly way, they engaged in their talk a beautiful picture of what Jesus is like. These two disciples talking with a stranger Jesus. And he inquired why they seemed to be so sad. They told the stranger about Jesus and their hopes that he might have proved indeed to be the long-awaited Messiah. And as the stranger began explaining the scriptures, particularly Isaiah 53 and the other Old Testament prophecies of the coming Messiah, these two disciples were deeply impressed. The cross does not seem that he cannot be the Messiah. It's the proof, however, that he is. So their hearts burned within them with excitement. What they had thought meant that Jesus could not be the Messiah turned out to be the strongest evidence that he is. So when they reached their village of Emmaus, the stranger appeared to say goodbye and keep on going, and they begged him, abide with us. And the record says that they constrained him. Maybe with tears, they said, abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. If you beg the Lord earnestly to abide with you, he will never turn away from you. So this story teaches us another happy lesson. He will not leave us alone. He will provide someone to share our faith together. And that friend whom the Lord may give you for sharing your faith experience together may not necessarily be physically near, but could be as close as the phone or your email. Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus invites us to respond to him positively, not only with salvation, but sharing it with others. In his name we pray, amen.